Many people hear the words data libraries. They quickly think about big companies. They think about making lots of money. This is a very common idea today, but this idea is only a small part. Data libraries are much, much more. They hold many different kinds of facts. These facts can help every single one of us. Imagine a very large library. This library is full of books. Raw data library is quite similar to this, but instead of stories, RDL has facts and numbers, facts about the weather, or about our health, or even how many cars pass on a busy street. Yes, companies do use this data for business, but there is so much more to discover inside. The real treasure in these data libraries is often hidden. It is not always about making direct profit, it is more about understanding our world, understanding it in a much better, clearer way. Imagine trying to build a house without any measurements. Data gives us these important numbers for society. It helps us see things, important things we might otherwise miss. This is very, very good for all of us. So it is true that businesses use data, but we must all try to look much wider. We must try to see the bigger picture here. Data libraries are like a public resource for everyone, like a clean park or a freshwater river. They are there for all people to use and benefit. Knowing this simple fact changes how we see them. It shows us their true, deep and important value. How do new ideas actually begin to grow? Often they start with a simple question, or they start by looking at facts in a new way. Raw data library is completely full of these facts. They are like very fertile soil for planting seeds. Many new and exciting things can grow there. New solutions can appear for very old problems. Innovation truly needs this kind of good fuel. For example, people who plan our cities can use traffic data. This data is not just a list of boring numbers. It clearly shows how people move around in a city. With this knowledge, they can design much better roads or they can make the public buses run more on time. This kind of change makes daily life easier for many people. This useful innovation comes directly from looking at the data. Without the data, planners are often just guessing. Small companies and new startups also get big help. They might not have a lot of money to spend, not enough for their own big research teams perhaps, but if the data is available, it is there for them to use. They can find out what people really need in their lives. They can then build helpful new products or services like a clever app that tells you the quietest time to visit a park. Many good ideas can bloom when there is a data access. And this innovation is not just about new technology, it can also be about creating important social change. Researchers can look at health data to find hidden patterns. This can lead to brand new ways to prevent diseases, or it can help improve how our hospitals care for patients. Data helps us to see the problems much more clearly. And then, it helps us to build completely new answers. Society moves forward and gets better with these insights.